Hi, it's time for us to have another Bible class on the names of God. Let's begin by reviewing them. I'm going to start with A and we're going all the way to K today because we're going to do K today. And I'm going to pause after I say the letter of the alphabet and see if you can tell me um, you say it before I say it, okay? All right, here we go. A, awesome almighty. B, bread of life. C, caring creator. D, divine deliverer. E, exalted and everlasting. F, faithful father. G, great and glorious God. H, hallowed heavenly father. I, Emmanuel. J, Jesus. And today, K, King of Kings. Oh, I could put it up here and it would look like I had it on my head, huh? King of Kings. There we go. There it looks like I have it on my head. Jesus is our King of Kings. There are two verses that speak of this that I want you to look up. I'm not going to read them to you today because we're going to sing a couple songs and I want to talk a little bit about what kind of king our God is. So the two scriptures are Revelation 17, verse 14. Revelation 17, verse 14. And then Revelation 19, verse 16. 19, verse 16. When you think of a king, what do you think of? Um, do you think of like uh, a Disney king, like um, uh, Sleeping Beauty's father in that movie? Or do you think of King Triton in The Little Mermaid? Or um, I can think of another king. Um, in a movie right now. Um, I guess the king and I, there was a king in that movie, if you've ever seen that movie. Um, but when we think about a king, when we think about biblical kings, we can look back and think about David and what, uh, what kind of a king he was. He was a warrior king. He did a lot of fighting um, battles but he also was called a man after God's own heart. So when, when God chose him from the sheepfold, from being a shepherd, he knew what kind of heart David had. And David had a heart to, to follow God. And he was very sorry and repentant when he um, went against God's commands. Um, Another king that you might think of from Bible times is the king during the uh, book of Esther, where the king Ahasuerus um, has to hold out the scepter. Remember that he had to hold out his, um, they were called scepters, but sort of look like a wand type thing. Um for people to approach him. And if he didn't hold out the scepter to Esther, remember she would have died. Um, so those are just two of the kings in the Bible, but I want you to think about the kind of king that was alive during the time when Jesus was born. Herod was a king who went and murdered, had murdered all the little children, two years old, down through newborns because he was threatened 
when he heard that there was a king of the Jews that had been born. Um, that's not the kind of king our God is at all. And our God is also not the kind of king um, that Ahasuerus was during Esther's time because instead of us having to wait for him to hold out a scepter to us, he holds out two open arms and he wants us to come to him. Remember in the Gospels, when the disciples got upset with the children because they felt like they were bothering Jesus and Jesus said, no, 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 let the children come to me for of such theirs is the kingdom. So he loves and he wants us to come to him. He's that kind of king and he is the king above all kings because his kingdom which is a spiritual kingdom, will never, ever end. It's going to always be. So we can be confident in the promises of a king like that, that he is the king of kings. Now let's sing a couple songs about this king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, Jesus Jesus, Jesus, oh, he is the king. He is the king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the, oh, he is the, oh, he is the king. That's kind of a fun song to sing. You can start really quietly and then get, louder as you sing Jesus. Okay, there's another song about a king, which is, um, who's the king of the jungle? Remember that song? We've sung that in vacation Bible school before. Let's sing that. Who's the king of the jungle? Ooh, ooh. Who's the king of the sea? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Who's the king of the universe? Who's the king of me? His name is J-E-S-U-S. -S. Yes, he's the king of me. He's the king of the universe, the jungle and the sea. Bubble, 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 yeah. If you're not familiar with that song, you can go back and listen to it a couple of times. Um, that's a fun song to sing. I can't do it very well with holding my phone here and having one hand have to do the motions, but that's a fun song to sing. And he is the king of all, the king of everything. There is a parable in the Bible called the King's Invitation. Um, that's what it's paraphrase like it might say that in your bible and it's about the king um inviting people to a feast or a banquet um we have thanksgiving coming up so you might think about it like that except like 10 times as much food and and fancy stuff because it's the king having this banquet and um he has people make excuses for not coming. And so he tells his servants to um, go out into the highways and the byways. That means like the back alleys, the streets, um, where the homeless might be and invite them because um, I want people to come to my banquet. And he was not happy with the people who refused the invitation. And um, he, he's very sad if we refuse his invitation. So I hope that you will think of this King of Kings as an awesome God that he is, but that he's got his arms out to you and he wants you to come to him. Have a great Sunday and I will see you next week.